How to find extremely profitable Amazon products not in under five minutes. What's up, guys? My name is Dan, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the real way of finding great Amazon products in 2019. This is something that has taken me years to develop, and this is something. Uh, this video is more of a response to all the other videos out there that show you how you can find great Amazon products in under three minutes, under five minutes. When in fact, that's just not realistic. You know, when I was just starting out on Amazon FBA, this was about two years ago, two and a half years ago. Uh, you know, my story was I was completely broke, and for me, my Amazon business allowed me to make more money than I ever thought I would ever make in my entire life. And I got to multiple six figures within three months. I was making over 30,000 a month. And back then, I remember that the only resources out there were a few YouTube videos that were showing how to make uh, and how to find Amazon products in under like three minutes, under five minutes, right? And it just all seemed too good to be true. Two years later now, I'm still doing product research about every week, almost every day. And I'm doing it both for my Amazon and for my Shopify because I have many e-commerce businesses. But something that I've learned is that nothing good will come out of three minutes or five minute product research videos, right? In reality, it will take you at least a day, two days, three days, maybe even a week or two weeks to really find a great product. And I'm going to show you guys the best way, like the absolute best way, bar none, nothing else to find a great product. If you've been struggling to find an amazing product on Amazon, if you've been doing a lot of product research and you're wondering, okay, like all these videos make it seem so easy, but for me, it's so hard. Everything seems too competitive. Everything seems too saturated. Is it too saturated, right? So if all these questions are spinning in your head, I'm going to break that down for you in this video. And I'm going to show you you that it, it's not hard to find a great product on Amazon. You just have to change your way of thinking. And all those videos out there that show you how to do it under three minutes, under five minutes, you know, 100 million trillion dollars in under five minutes, uh, you know, that's just not realistic. All right. So this is a more of a response video, kind of like a call to action for everybody out there who really wants to start a freedom business. And if you really want to change your life and you know, you're really looking to start an Amazon business, then like, obviously, you know, that in three minutes, five minutes, nothing good will happen or else everybody in the world will be rich and wealthy. So right here, I've got Jungle Scout and I'm going to show you guys after years of research, my number one technique to finding products, this has helped me find probably 90% of my products. And this is something that it's more of a way of thinking, but there's also a technical part of it as well. So for this, I use Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is my favorite product research tool. It's something that I've been using forever. So just for the purpose of this video, we're going to use Jungle Scout. The link is down below. So right here, this is a Jungle Scout web app, and right here, it's the product database. So we can go on here. And when we're going to start is we're just going to go and click on the private label category. So since we're talking about private labeling here, uh, the best category is for private labeling, which means taking a product on Alibaba and then taking your logo, putting your logo on the product uh, and then selling it on Amazon with your own brand and your own brand vision, and everything like that. Uh, the best categories for that are the ones that I have checked here. So automotive, baby, beauty and personal care, health and household, home and kitchen and the rest over here. So right here. OK. The most important thing that I can tell you that I've learned from selling successfully on e-commerce and from mentoring thousands of students to success uh, on e-commerce through Amazon, through Shopify, I can tell you that the most important thing is when everybody's going one way, you want to go the other. All right. And so when everybody is searching for, you know, what do most people search for? Let's say between 10 and $20 uh, products on Amazon, people search for low reviews, right? Those days are gone. Those days are gone. Now in 2019, the people that are going to win are the people that are going to be building brands and actually selling good products. All right. Before you can get away with selling really crappy products. You can get away with selling, you know, little gimmicks from China, but now not anymore. And th this isn't that hard. Like this is just a simple change in your thinking. Other than that, it's the exact same process. So if you had just have this one change in your thinking, you're going to be so far ahead of everybody else trying to start a passive income business on Amazon. So right here, I've got the filters here. So 2256, 7893. The reason why I've got 7893 is because since most people search between 10 and $30, I like to go to the higher range. Remember, I said when everybody's going one way, you want to go the other. So think outside the box. Don't be limited by the constraints of, you know, somebody else's thinking and, and the status quo. So right here, we got 2256, 7893. These are just random numbers that I made up and you can put in like 68, 77, right? It doesn't really matter. But when everybody's searching, I can tell you what everybody's searching for on Amazon on this app between 10 and $30. They're all searching for probably about, you know, some super high revenue number. This is revenue. I prefer to search with revenue. So they probably search between 22,000 and 45,000, right? So I prefer to go a little bit lower, 11,000 to about 26,000 maybe 10 to, to 25, right? Of course, you can go even higher, right? Just experiment. And then reviews, I'm never afraid of reviews because on Amazon, as soon as you uh, start selling a great product and your product is actually really good, then you can really quickly get reviews. So it's not a problem. So right here, uh, I set my reviews really high. So 566. If I scroll down, I also excluded the keyword wedding because that's just an extremely competitive niche. And when I hit search, all of the products that it was showing me uh, was like a wedding product. So I'm gonna go and hit search again. And I haven't gotten to the actual way of thinking yet. And I'm gonna explain because I have to show you guys this first, this, this web part, it's really, really crucial. So 
we start using this tool just as a beginning, like just as a, as a, as a beginning step here. So if we scroll down, we can go and try to find some products here. So let me just go ahead and see what we can find. So we have uh, wedding stuff. And then we have, uh, okay, best at home teeth whitening kit. That could be really good. So you just want to open up products that um, that look kind of good, that have a decent price point. So something above, uh, preferably above $15. Uh, at the minimum, I would go 12 Or else it's just not profitable to sell on Amazon below that. And then with a decent revenue. So 13000 is really good. Remember, we're not actually trying to look for a product to sell. We're just looking for a general niche. And that is the way of thinking. We're looking for a general niche, okay? And there's a lot more that comes with it. So keep watching here don't go anywhere uh, because this will literally blow your mind. So we've got this uh, uh, electric blanket here, heated fleece electric blanket. So we can open that. We've got a USB warmer mouse pad. That's great. I would literally buy this right now. Um, okay, so we can keep going. And these are products that most other people that are using this tool are not seeing because, you know, right away, they're just uh, setting the reviews super low. They're just using all the other search terms or the, all the other search filters that everybody else is using. Okay, so something like large peanut butter filled bones. Yeah, we're not going to sell that. I mean, you can if you wanted to build a pet brand and then you would just have to source from the United States. You would just go on Google and type in, uh, you know, um, dog dog supplier, for example, dog private label, dog food private label or dog food private label supplier. Um, okay, so something like a tote bag, this is a commodity product. The reason why we don't like commodity products is because you know, what is the difference between me selling a tote bag and then someone else selling a tote bag? Literally zero, right? There's no, like, if a customer is going to go on Amazon and they're going to type in tote bag, uh, and they're, let's say they're going to want a hot pink tote bag, well, okay, if I'm the only hot pink tote bag, obviously they're going to buy from me. But if there's like 10 or 20 or 30 of them, then they're, they don't really care which one they're going to buy from. So they're just going to buy it from the one with the most amount of reviews and the one that has the best price, right? So of course, then it becomes irrelevant for us to even go and put our brand on it because they don't care about the brand. They just want a tote bag. Like someone would not want a brand to be shown on the tote bag. They would just want something to carry something. So that is the definition of a commodity product. Uh, a famous commodity product, for example, is oil, right? So if we're selling uh, barrels of oil, people don't care when they go to the gas station. They don't care uh, if it's, you know, brand A of oil or brand B of oil, right? People don't care if it's Chevron, Exxon, they just want to fill up their car. And so that's what a commodity product is. So that's just to put it simply. And we don't want to sell commodity products on Amazon. That is so, so, so important. And many, many people I've seen have... Uh, you know, try to sell commodity products and it just doesn't work. And I've tried to do it before a long time ago. And I realized very quickly that, okay, there's no point in this because I actually want to build a brand. The brand is the key in 2019 and beyond. So here we've got some hemp products. I mean, these, they're really, really hard. I know they're, uh, uh, they, they could be against the Amazon terms of service. So I would just stay away from that unless you know how to bypass that. Uh, so if we could keep going, remember, you're looking for a, an idea to create a brand with, okay? You're looking for an idea. So right here, let's just go and see. We've got a few a few ones here. So we can go take a look. So best home teeth whitening kit with LED light for sensitive teeth. So this is actually a very famous Shopify product. This one only has 66 customer reviews and they're probably selling very well. Okay, so let's pull up the Jungle Scout here. So this one is making 13,000, about 13,287 with 66 reviews, right? And so we wouldn't be looking to just sell this product right away. Like you have to remember that, hey, anybody else can go and sell this product. So think outside the box, all right? And that is what's called the rabbit hole technique. This has been my most successful technique that I used for 90% of my products to find them and also to grow existing brands on Amazon. And the reason why it's so powerful is because it really goes 10, not only like one or two steps, but five or 10 steps ahead of everybody else who's trying to start a business on Amazon, who's trying to create a brand on Amazon. The rabbit hole technique says, so this is something that I developed. So how it goes is this, you go and you start with the Jungle Scout web app and then you go in through, like you go through their product lists. And then when you find a good product, you don't think about doing that product because everybody else and their mom wants to do that product. So now you have a niche idea. Now you're going to go on Amazon. You're going to type in the niche. So for example, now we have teeth whitening, right? Or LED light teeth whitening, for example. And so now I'm going to go in the search bar and I'm going to type in teeth whitening, maybe add an LED light and see what kind of other products are being sold on there. I can also go on Alibaba, which is the number one, uh, the, the world's obviously uh, largest manufacturer website to find suppliers. I can go on there and also type in the niche. And so that will give us products potentially that are not even being sold on Amazon yet that could be interesting to actually start selling in. That could be a great opportunity to start selling in. So that is the rabbit hole technique. So 
the reason why there's all these videos that show you, you know, how to find products in three to five minutes is because they're not even thinking outside the box. They're just showing you, okay, Jungle Scout Lab, boom, it's like step one, step two, step three, find a product, low reviews, high revenue. Well, obviously that's going to go wrong because everybody else and their mom is doing that, right? So this is something that literally my grandmother can go follow the steps and create a successful Amazon business if it was that simple. My mission is to get 10,000 people to complete personal financial freedom. And I know that for that, I obviously have to give you the best advice to uh, actually grow a freedom oriented business, right? So I haven't had held a nine to five job for three years and I'm never planning on, you know, in my entire life ever again, I make uh, millions of dollars at the age of 23. And that's all because of e-commerce and developing these techniques after, you know, doing this for a long time. Most people don't stick with one thing for a long time, especially something like Amazon. They don't think it's a real business. So they kind of, uh, you know, they kind of don't take it seriously. So what I want you to do is I'm asking you right now to take it seriously and to think outside the box and to not watch those videos, you know, three to four minutes, how to find a product. It's all BS. They're just trying to go and basically, you know, either get you to sign up for a course or whatever it is. Right. So that is the truth. Right. The truth is that it's going to take some work, but it won't take nearly as much work as you think. And don't focus on finding a product in three to four minutes. Focus on finding a product, uh, you know, maybe in two or three days or a week. Right. That's two or three days. Imagine you find a product that will put you even a thousand dollars extra a month in profit in your pocket. And it took you three days to find it. OK, so that's how you have to think. But most people are not thinking that way. And so that's what I've realized. Like that's that's where literally the 80 20 is. That's where like the most potential is. So let's go ahead and type in teeth whitening kit. OK, and you can also scroll. You can also like go uh, onto the actual storefront. Um, that's a really good way to see. So obviously, if they're selling a product successfully on one, um, you know, with with one product, then obviously then, you know, they could be uh, also having uh, or selling great products here as well. So we can see home teeth whitening pen. That's obviously uh, a great product. Great price point, thirty nine fifty. So they're obviously making great money. So if we pull up the jungle scout here. OK, so they're making three thousand four hundred thirty seven. Now, most beginners with Amazon will be like, ah, no, that's not enough money. Wait a second. Listen, hear me out right now. OK, think outside the box. If this the profit margin on this is probably very high. Let me go and type in on Alibaba. We're going to go and type in um, home teeth whitening pen. We're just going to type in teeth whitening pen. OK, let's see. OK, so I've got a few teeth whitening pens over here. So this looks like it's this. So let me take a look at what we have here. So it was this one. So they have their logo on it. OK, it looks like it's this It's 85 cents per piece. Uh, and if they're selling five of them, it's about it's, it's less than five dollars. So it's like four dollars and they're selling it for thirty nine fifty. That's a ridiculously high profit margin. And why can they sell this for forty dollars? Because they're building a brand and they did not find this product in three minutes or four minutes, like every single other YouTube video by every single other guru influencer is showing you. Right. So the reality is, is that it will take some work, like I said, but Look at this. Look at this ridiculous profit margin. If you were one of those people that tries that tried to find a product in like, you know, three minutes. Yeah. OK, you would go and find this product. You would source it. You would sell it like twelve dollars. Right. Because you, you have no idea that about, you know, the, the potential of a brand and how to really make like perceived value uh, look good. Right. How to create a higher perceived value. So with this, it looks so good because of the brand. Right. If I have to turn my head sideways. But, you know, I would buy this for thirty nine fifty. Definitely. If I'm you know, if I wanted to uh, whiten my teeth and, uh, you know, if I had sensitive teeth, I would buy this for sure. It's 200 plus whitening treatments. Obviously, the reviews are good, so it must be a good product. And another reason why this is so good, and most other YouTubers will tell you it's not good. The reason why it's so good is because, yes, it's only making 3000 a month. Probably more than 2000 of it is profit because, obviously, the profit margin is so high. Uh, remember what I said. They're buying at $5 about, and they're selling it for thirty nine fifty, which is ridiculous. And then the Amazon fees come in, and the Amazon fees, it's 15% of this price. So it'd be like, I don't know, what's 15%? It'd be like uh, about 4 or $5, plus the pick and pack, which is another $3, so 7 So 7 plus 4 or plus five, let's say, you know, $15 at the most, they're making about uh, $25 in profit per unit. Okay. And if they're selling, okay, if they're selling 87 uh, units per month, according to Jungle Scout, that means that they are making 25 times 87, they're making $2,175 US per month. That is almost a full time job. Like that is almost the average full time salary for a university graduate in the United States. Okay. So this is what, like, most Amazon beginners would not even look at this because they're watching all those other videos. Okay. Don't listen to that. OK, so that's why this is so good. That's why the rabbit hole technique is so good. And this is how you have to start thinking about things. Don't don't be constrained, you know, within what, what everybody else is thinking. I know this might sound confusing, but once you really start to see these patterns, you'll start to see, hey, you know, I can really get so much ahead of everybody else on Amazon if I start uh, thinking outside the box like this. And if I don't focus on finding a product in two or three minutes, right, you won't find something good in five minutes, right? You won't. It might look good on paper, but, you know, by the time you source it and by the time everybody else sees it, obviously, right, 
you're, it's going to get into Amazon, it's going to get way too competitive and it won't be good, right? So you're not just trying to, you know, make money with one product, you're trying to go and make this your life, you're trying to make this your future, like your entire future, right? This is not a joke. This is like, you know, you're trying to like treat this as a real business, not like everybody else on YouTube. And so this, this is kind of a rant video here, but it's, it's the truth. And I'm very passionate about this. I really want you to uh, understand that there is so much potential for building a freedom business, but you won't be able to do it if you're just listening to the status quo, if you're listening to the three minute videos, right? Nothing that promises, uh, you know, easy, fast money is obviously, uh, you know, going to bring you easy, fast money. Right, unless it's uh, the lottery or something like that, right? And then it's gonna take a long time to win that. So I hope you get my point here. The point is for you to have the right information here and to you know not put in three minutes, but to put in maybe two days or three days. Just put in like in the evenings, set aside some time. When I was just starting out with Amazon, uh, at the time when I first, first started, um, I was working at a nine to five job at the bank, right? So a big bank in Canada. And when I would come home at five or about 5.30, uh, I would actually go and four hours per day, three hours, four hours every night, for like a week, I would go and try to find a product. And from that first week, I found a great product. And then later on, you know, I started making a lot of money with Amazon. So it didn't take me three minutes, it took me like a week. And that's the truth here, okay? Nothing worth having comes easy or fast, but it won't come, it won't take as long as you think. Your life will change a lot faster than you think, trust me. At 20, I was broke, at 23, I'm a multimillionaire. And that is just something that anybody else can achieve. I'm not special. I don't flash my money, I don't drive any Lamborghinis, right? So. That is the truth. So um, anyway, the rabbit hole uh, method. I know I kind of went off on a rant here, but um, this is right. This is right here. If I were to start a teeth whitening brand, I would go. I would source these first because uh, they wouldn't require me to put in a lot of investment because it's not selling that much, right? Just focus on making your first thousand dollars a month on Amazon. Your first two thousand dollars a month on Amazon. Don't focus on trying to go straight for the you know for the home run for the twenty thousand or thirty thousand. That's where everybody else is doing. So. Right here, I would start with this, and then I would contact them, I'd get my brand on it, I'd make sure that it's a high quality teeth whitening pen, and then I would also get like a product insert in it, so you can go and speak to your supplier, you can tell them, hey, put in a piece of paper in there with like, um, you know, text saying uh, your brand, your brand name, and then your brand vision, what you stand for, and then, you know, directions on how to use the product, and then also your social media. And that way, I've already differentiated myself and improved the product so much uh, compared to everybody else on Amazon. So. That is one great example. And then as a second product, I would go and start selling the other teeth whitening thing, which was, if we go, by the way, this is a really, really great niche, something that exploded over the past few years. Uh, so this right here. Um, so, okay, so it's got four reviews, four out of five. So let's see, like, why, why does it have such bad reviews? Or not bad, but why does it have a few bad reviews? People are saying it didn't work as expected. Um, the LED light only lasts a month. So I would go and tell the supplier, hey, let's make the LED light last a lot longer than a month. Um, and then a few people are saying it didn't work for them, maybe because there's a lack of directions. So you want to make it as easy and as like idiot proof as possible for the customer to understand. Um, then, you know, of course, that would allow that would, that would prevent these reviews from happening. So that's what I would do here. And let's uh, apply this to something else. And by the way, like for more teeth whitening products, we just looked at someone's store storefront and we already found a great product. Let's go and type in teeth whitening. Okay, we've got the charcoal powder. So I would definitely go and start selling the charcoal powder as well, even though it's extremely competitive, right? If we're making an extra thousand a month, Month from it profit that's amazing right that's so much better than someone who is making 30,000 a month you know for like a month but then gets a, bun a bunch of hijackers because they don't have brand registry they didn't build a brand and you know their whole entire success on Amazon ends before it even begins because they haven't applied this way of thinking and they really try to go you know we're only thinking about the short term right so the person who is thinking about the long term the person who is uh, kind of seeing as far in advance as possible always wins in e-commerce and anything in any online business or non-online business so we got a teeth whitening light. That would be a great product to add on here. And so all of these things you can get on Alibaba and make sure that you negotiate your prices. I've got a, a ton of other great resources and videos on my channel about how to actually negotiate your prices, how to, uh, you know, find amazing suppliers. So that's all there. Um, okay, let's keep going. So there's just a, a ton of amazing opportunities here for adding products. Ideally, I would want to have about five products, six products, and then I would go and start a Shopify store as well and run some Facebook ads. Very easy for that. That's a whole other uh, ball game as well. Uh, creating ads for Shopify, it's more about ads. For Amazon, it's more about the product. But that's how you really build a seven-figure brand, and that's how you become a millionaire with e-commerce. So let's go next. Uh, Sunbeam heated fleece blanket. Okay, so this one, it looks like it's, uh, it could have a patent, so I would avoid this because uh, Sunbeam owns it, and I mean, I wouldn't want to compete against Sunbeam. You'd have to go and do your own research, patents.google.com. And now if I wanted to go down the rabbit hole, I would just scroll down on the product page for the brand that I was looking to build. I would look at the frequently bought together right away. I have some kind of an activated charcoal, 
uh, toothpaste, perfect product. I have to, for that, you for sure have to make it in USA. Anything that goes in your mouth that's like a liquid or something like that, you have to have that made in the USA. But you can just go and type in, you know, uh, on Google, you can type in, uh, for example, activated charcoal toothpaste uh, supplier United States. And then you'll be able to find someone. And it wouldn't even be that much more expensive uh, compared to the Chinese supplier when you factor in shipping costs as well from China. So that is how you go down the rabbit hole. We can go down here. We've got some kind of a teeth whitening accelerator light. So there's just a ton of amazing opportunities. This is how you really grow a brand. This is how you find a bunch of products. And this is how you get a brand to six figures and seven figures a year on Amazon. That's my secret, guys. That is my secret. This is something that, uh, like this method, I've challenged it time and time again. I thought I could go and, you know, find products in two or three minutes. And every time I went the short route, I kind of paid for it in the end. So I hope you guys really understand my message here today because my goal is to get you to freedom because that's what I did for myself and it blows my mind every single day how more people aren't doing this how more people are still working their nine to five jobs and how more people are still following this information on YouTube how you can make money very easily and very quickly when in fact that's not the case so you know it will take you a little bit more work than you thought but not as much work as you know you you like you you fear so it's nothing crazy right in a society my favorite quote is in a society where the standards are so low the standards are so low today it doesn't take that much more to succeed all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this really opened up your eyes to what's really going on out there on amazon and by the way the econ freedom course is still open uh and we've got a ton of students in there we've got a ton of amazing success stories the link is down below that is my course and basically every single thing that i know on amazon every single thing that uh, I've learned over the past years and all the best information is in there in the Econ Freedom course and as well, you do get unlimited mentorship with it, of course. So the link for that is down below. Make sure that you join. I'll see you in there and I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about you know Amazon, the best ways to actually go about it, create a business on here and tell me if you agree with me, disagree with me. I'd love to hear your opinion. So go ahead, comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.